Hello, I'm Krista Cup, and you're watching the NRA ILA Grassroots News Minute for Friday, June 8th. With many independent voters still undecided in the presidential election, last week was as good a time as any for Media Matters and the Violence Policy Center to try to push those independents toward the group's own French territory. They did so with the end justifies the means attitude that's typical of how they and their political allies pursue their goals. Media Matters is a George Soros-funded propaganda operation that describes itself as a progressive research and information center dedicated to correcting conservative misinformation. The Violence Policy Center was founded and is still led by a former activist with the National Coalition to Ban Handguns, who made his political orientation known by initially naming his group the New Right Watch. We think that evaluating the credibility of these groups can help illuminate voters' decision-making process this year. As we noted in last week's NRA ILA Grassroots Alert, on May 22nd, the Violence Policy Center issued a press release pointing out that in 2009, 10 states had more firearm-related deaths than motor vehicle-related deaths. VPC said motor vehicle deaths are on the decline as the result of a successful, decades-long public health-based injury prevention strategy that includes safety-related changes to vehicles and highway design. And it complained that the manufacture of firearms is not regulated by the government in the same way. In a segment on NRA News, we characterized VPC's comparison as apples and oranges because almost all motor vehicle-related deaths are accidents, while almost all firearm-related deaths are suicides or homicides. Now, whether we're talking about guns or cars, the measures that would help prevent accidents are very different from those that would prevent deliberate acts. Here are the hard numbers so you can decide who's being honest. In 2009, 99.5% of motor vehicle related deaths were accidental, while the whole category of vehicular homicides and suicides that VPC accused us of ignoring accounted for 0.5%. By stark contrast, only 1.8% of firearm related deaths were accidental, while suicides and all categories of homicides combined, including justifiable homicides by private citizens and law enforcement officers, accounted for the remaining 98.2%. In every state, deaths from motor vehicle accidents vastly outnumber those from firearm accidents. Nationally speaking, in 2009, there were 36,216 accidental deaths involving motor vehicles and just 554 involving firearms, the latter an all-time low, while the number of gun owners is at an all-time high. And with more right to carry states and carry permit holders than ever before, more people are actually carrying guns than ever before. Yet rather than firearm accidents increasing, as gun control supporters predicted, they have declined. The numbers speak for themselves. Unfortunately for Media Matters and the Violence Policy Center, the voters can think for themselves. And now for an important rumor control. NRA ILA has received many inquiries about blog posts concerning a proposed shotgun import ban and about the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives solicitation of public comments about the issue. While this outrageous proposal clearly and convincingly demonstrates the Obama administration's anti-gun agenda, it is not breaking news. The comment period expired more than a year ago. NRA filed extensive comments opposing the ban. In addition, an appropriations amendment to block the new ban became law in November. We encourage all gun owners who are concerned about this issue to sign up to get the latest news from NRA ILA today and frequently visit our website at www.nraila.org for important updates.